Bienvenue sur Rachard. <laughs> Added it. So, Sean, thank you very much for, for the opportunity to have you here uh, during this interview. Uh, first of all, super simple question, how do you feel? Incredible. <laughs> Okay, um, we know that it's going to be a special fight. It's the first, uh, the second, the first time that you fight for a second time against the same, same opponent. Um, does it change anything with your preparation? No, I mean it's the same rules. Same, you know, the cage is going to be a little bit bigger. The time is going to be a little bit longer. Uh, it's five fives, it's, you know, so there's a little bit difference there. But you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. What we've been doing has been working, and uh, so yeah. And do you think the strategy will be the same as the uh, first fight? Do you think that there is an advantage? Do you think the, that he changed now that he doesn't count anymore? Or how do you see it? Uh, three and a half years later, you know, I think the strategy going into the fight is a little bit different. Not because what the strategy was the first time didn't work. You know, obviously it played out the way it played out. But uh, I've gotten, I've improved a lot. He's improved a little bit. And uh, here we are. And how is the weight cut going? Horrible. No, it's not bad. It's, you know, they're all pretty similar. You know, I, my weight's always kind of between where it needs to be. So, you know, today's decent. We get saltless chicken and stuff like that. Maybe some blueberries if I'm lucky, you know, so it's not too bad. Uh, we have a question that we always ask to people. And the question is, if you could speak to the Sean of 10 years ago, what would be the tip that you would give him? Uh, so 10 years ago, I was 19. I was just oh, yeah, moving, moving down to Arizona. I would, uh, you know, say like trust the process. Like, you know, that's something I still remind myself to this day. Just trust the process. Is there something that you learned or something that you would have changed? I mean, I can't really get into a better position than I'm in right now in this moment, so I don't really know. We want to know what you think of the Komen event. Um, yeah, a big fight. Dustin Poirier is fighting, uh, F what's the guy? Beno Benoit, Benoit Saint <laughs> A very scary, terrifying guy who's not necessarily a big name yet because mm -hmm. he hasn't really had the he hasn't fought the big name guys. But when it comes to skills, like the dude is is on that level, the top five. So you know, dangerous fight for Dustin. If anyone's gonna go out there and win a dog mm -hmm. fight, it's gonna be you know Dustin. And uh, but you think so? You think I, that Dustin? I, he's 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 able to. Can't count Dustin out. Mm -hmm. You can't count that other dude out either. So you know, for me, it's a coin flip. You know, very yeah. interesting fight. Do you think that the KO was, is going to have an impact? I mean, I feel like it did for Al, uh, Alexander Volkanovsky. So I think, you know, you get knocked out like that might play a little, play into it. But I don't know. I mean, it's, Dustin's had a, such a crazy career. I think if anyone's able to kind of zone that out and keep, keep working, it's him. Well, that was my last question. We know that it was something really important. And really, congratulations for your, your whole career. And we wish you all the best for, for that fight. Bon, thank, thank you. So much. you. A pleasure. Take care. <laughs> pour parier sur l'UFC 299 avec les meilleures cotes, rendez-vous sur unibet.fr. Profitez d'un free bet allant jusqu'à 100 euros à l'inscription avec notre lien qui se trouve en description de cette vidéo. S'il vous plaît, jouez de manière responsable avec une approche récréative. 100 euros de bonus sur ton premier pari.